All right, at some point in time in your style of journey, you're going to ask yourself, are you looking a little bit too young or are you looking a little bit too old? But don't even trip. I got five ways to show you how to advance your style and stop looking so childish. Without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, first thing first is switching up like your fitting sizes. So what I mean by that is you can wear like the average pants, hoodies, t-shirts, button up, it doesn't matter. You can wear something that's standard, but at some point in time, it's time for you to switch up the sizing of that fit. You could switch things up a little bit by wearing things like a crop size, oversized, slim, or any other size that's other than that standard look. Wearing standard fits when it comes to jeans is not always gonna be the best go-to for depending on what type of shoes you wear. So they have fits like boot cut, straight leg, oversized, relaxed. These are things that you need to check out when it comes to a different fitting. Also, as a side note, when you do find that fit that you like, switch up your style just a little bit. You don't have to wear things like t-shirts, for example. You don't always have to have it hanging out. You can actually let it tuck in a little bit. Hang it on the side. Get that smart tech look where you have it tucked in on one side and let it hang a little bit like you purposely done that. Or add some type of pizzazz to it when it comes to adding that extra style. You don't always have to wear jewelry. You can actually make your clothes be more of an accessory to you than just a standard fitting piece. Point number two is knowing when and how to wear your accessories. This is a very important part because not everything that you wear has to be bust down. I've seen some of the most flyest people wear plastic, wood, pieces as accessories and made sure they have one of the most fire outfits that I've seen. So if you have something that you're really trying to piece together well, make sure that it complements your outfit instead of just constantly stacking on the jewelry bit by bit because sometimes you start to look like you're trying to overdo it and you're trying to force the look over actually wearing something that complements your style and makes you look more appealing. And a one-off on this, going big is not always the best for your style when it comes to accessories. Sometimes wearing less is more. You don't always have to go big with big jewelry and you don't always have to stack on so many layers. Sometimes you could just wear some simple earrings, a simple chain, one ring, a wristband, or bracelet and go straight with your day and it will make your attire look more casual and clean and more mature and it looks like you know what you're doing whenever you're wearing these stylish accessories. Know that there's a time and a place and it'll help you. Point number three is about your grooming. What up, man? It's that time of the year again. It is Black Friday shopping season. Now, seeing that everybody is looking for the best Black Friday sales, Tease Hanley is offering their Black Friday box collection. This is a deal that's up to 50% off. This exclusive box contains 13 of Tease Hanley's best selling products all in one box. I mean, from your body wash to your facial scrubs, this here is the ultimate skincare collection. Now this offer won't last long, so there's no better time than now for you to get yours or a collection for somebody that you're close to. Having something like this could be the reason that you or a friend can have a great holiday season. Or you could kick off the new year the right way with starting off with the perfect skincare routine. Now I have more detail that's listed down below, but make sure that you do not miss out on this deal. This is huge for the new year. This perk for you, a friend, or somebody that you're close to. Head to teach.com or follow the link that's listed down below and the information that's listed down there. And make sure that you get this ultimate box collection. Now with that being said, I'll catch up with y'all next time. Happy Black Friday shopping. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace. Grooming. grooming can actually be that piece that actually make you look better or make you look worse. You can have a completely fire outfit on, but if you don't look the part, you can actually throw the entire fit off. This is kind of like getting a task, doing all the work, but not finishing a job or actually putting in work and not finishing the job. But that's kind of up to you. It depends on what type of style you are when it comes to your grooming. Even your hair can be very important as well. Hair is a very important part of style. Whether you keep it low cut, wearing a sponge, or you have locks, braids, and so many other different styles that you have, these are the things that can actually make your style go from like a five to a 10 or stop making you look so young and childish. Skincare is something that's also important as well. So if you're just going along the day and you just slap on some lotion and go about your day, this is not taking care of your skin. These are the things that actually help you add that glow to your style when you're trying to mature yourself when it comes to your styling journey. All right, point number four, if you are a sneaker head, I know you will come at my head, but you might wanna ease up on the sneakers a little bit. I'm not saying that you can't wear them almost every day. If you love sneakers, that's your thing, let that be you. But sometimes there's a time and a place for you to actually get some casual shoes, maybe get some boots, combat boot it up if you want to, or you could go with a Chelsea boot, style something up, make it look more casual instead of trying to make it look like sneakers. You don't always have to wear sneakers in order for you to have style. Switch it up a bit when it comes to your footwear. Get some boots, get some casual shoes, 
actually add some style to yourself. You can actually add casualness to your style without having to look like you're just a kid and you just came out of the sandbox or off the playground. And point number five is kind of a given. Please wear your pants up how they should. There's nothing attractive about somebody that had a cheeks out or anything. Nobody should know the pattern of your drawers or your boxes. Please pull your pants up and wear them with intention like you're wearing them for a purpose. Pull up your pants, let them sit on the waist. Yes, we do understand when you wear the pants, they may sag just a little bit and it will show your waist. So you might see the pattern, but I'm talking about actually having your cheeks out. Nobody needs to see your cheeks out. Your cheeks shouldn't be catching the air and the wind and everything like that. That's just a little bit too much. And just because you've worn a fashionable belt or a designer belt, it does not add style to you. It loses purpose. All right, y'all, now I just gave y'all five tips that will help increase your style and stop you from looking so childish. Now, you don't have to follow all of these rules or you don't have to follow not one. But at the same time, if you think about it, these are the things that make you advance your style and look even better. If you have that look of a teenager or a child and you're actually in your 20s and 30s and things like that and you're growing into your mature stage, but you're still trying to figure out why am I still looking so young? These could be the reasons why you're losing out on looking even more mature or advancing your style. It's certain things that could be very small that make you lose out on actually advancing your style. So hopefully these five tips have added some value to your ideas and your style and how your closet is going to look moving forward. But like I said, you still can look young and still have fun. It doesn't mean that when you get mature, you have to look old or anything. You can still have fun with fashion. You can still look youthful and have fun with styles in multiple ways. But like I said, just switch it up a little bit. You don't always have to look like this mature part and you don't always have to look super young. There's a time and a place for everything and just have fun with your styling journey. With that being said, I'm gonna catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. So I'll catch up with y'all next time. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll let y'all. Peace.